Wow, first kiss. <laughs> first kiss was in my garage in Orlando, Florida, my house. Yes, this girl down the street. It was a lot of hype, a lot of talking about it. Like, we're gonna meet here at this time. It's going down. No tongue, but it's going no down. Tongue. No tongue, you know, that felt too mature. I think I was like, had to be in like elementary school. And I remember just feeling all the butterflies, feeling like this is the person I spend the rest of my life with. I mean, like first kiss, you like, I'm giving you a part of me. You are, you are my everything. Like that's what it felt like. It was so deep and so extra. We kissed and then she left. She was like, bye. And then that was it. And then I don't think we ever kissed or talked again. <laughs> I feel kind of played now that we're talking about it. My name is Jeremy Pope. And I was pretty shy as a child. I think I like felt in the inside, I got something to, to say and something to sing or something to do. I was always scared to put it out there because I was just shy. And my first thing on stage was Cats, the musical in high school. <laughs> my freshman year, I had to choose between running track and doing the school musical and I got a lead. I played the, the cat Skimple Shanks. I didn't make him a hip hop cat. I wanted to kind of bring my own flavor to him. So that was the thing. And then ever since then, I've been on this, this ride of playing, playing characters and telling stories. My grandma, we'd always have dance parties in the house. So it felt just normal that you move. I was pretty comfortable in my body. And then as I got older and you know more serious about the craft, it was like take ballet and jazz and tap. And um, some of the things I was good in, I remember ballet kicked my butt. And I hated it because I wasn't good in it. You know, you always want to do things that you're good at. You know, Broadway was one of the dreams. I think being an artist and a kid that was creative, it's like you wanted to do it all. I wanted to be in movies and make music and be on Broadway, you know, but I didn't necessarily know what type of role I could play. Outside of like a Lion King or a Hairspray, I didn't really see a black man leading a space and singing and dancing outside of the ensemble. That was my evolution of trying to see myself in these spaces that I so, or in my heart, desperately wanted to be a part of. Go-to karaoke song would have to be Cindy Lauper, Time After Time. I go sad, I really try to bring the mood in, you know what I mean? Like, try to bring you in, you take you on the journey. You wanna sing a little bit? Um, if you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, if you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting, yeah. Time after time. <laughs> that was beautiful. All right, y'all. Y'all are witnessing me pop my first bottle of champagne. It's kind of major. I'm very nervous. All right, I've been told to shake it up. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Take the wire out. See y'all, it's a process. What's happening? It's supposed to have happened. This better be great, y'all. This better be major. Come on, JP. Here we go, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Woo! Let's do it, y'all. <laughs>